Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Banner Saga. We have just made it to Wormtoe. And that's that. That's the recap. That's the whole thing. The Varl will find you before... What? The Varl will find you before you see... Oh, I see what it's saying. Not surprising with this many people behind you. With weapons drawn, they demand to know why you're here. But back down when Ivor tells them he's come to see someone named Krumer. Well, I'll be damned. Krumer, it's been a long time. Yeah, it has. So what brings Ingvar to Wormtoe with his very own village of humans? Bad news. Dredger coming down from the north. We barely made it this far. That is dire news. Dire news. Come on, we have food. We'll discuss more in the Mead House. As you follow the old Varl into their meager town, you catch him quietly saying, If it were anyone else. Hmm, I've talked with the warriors here. I'll be honest with you, half want to go north and find out what happened at Blocks. <laughs> Some think we should go to Grofheim instead. None of them are happy you're here. What do you think? If I had it my way, I'd stay here and let the dredge come. But you made this a problem, didn't you? We can't feed this many people for long, even if they don't eat much. This is a Varl town. Most of us take care of our ourselves. You've got women, children. We could pitch in, make this place livable. It doesn't work like that. These Varl are here to get away from civilization, not make one. It's Krumer's call. It won't be long before the treasure here, too. No, it won't. If there's one thing we should do, it's tell Yorinder what's going on. Who's Yorinder? Varl King. Well, as close to one as we have. Where'd you find these people? Stay here and rest, but once yours are ready to go, we do. I'm going to see off those who want to head north. But I'll join you to Grofheim. More travel? No, we've already come so far. Stop the pouting, girlie. Even if Yorinder won't listen to a tired old Varl like me, I have a feeling they'll pay attention to your friend. Here. They'll listen to Ivor? Ha! He hasn't told you? Of course he hasn't. Do what you need to do, but don't be long. That's it? You're not gonna tell me who he is? What's so important? Okay. Just take it easy for a while. People are noticing. Oh, they've noticed, have they? We're on the edge of dying daily, and you want me to take it easy? Gods, I should be plowing twice as many fields. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't get us thrown out of this caravan, Mogan. It's ju bleh, just you who suffers. Right, so you get married? Have kids? Now I'm supposed to settle down too, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, so laughing my ass off. <laughs> From Minnesota, ya. <yeah. laughs> That's not even funny. Come on now. I'm better than that. The two brothers clam up as you approach. That's right, I've got a kid to take care of. Cool your head, Mogan. Hogan departs, leaving Mogan looking awkward. Rook, what brings you around? I just heard yelling. Came to check it out. You come running every time you hear yelling? Must be why you look so tired. Look, it's not secret. I like women, Rook. They like a me, I like a damn, they like a discar. Feh. What does that mean? Feh. Never heard that expression. Forget it. Listen, all this, all this death, I mean, meh, is far more, far more common. Eh, whatever. Every night, half the caravan cries itself to sleep. Pathetic. Come on, Rook, be honest. This is good living. Half the world just tilling soil till they keel over. What kind of life is that? We're lucky. You can go your whole life with no goals, no purpose, nothing to fight against but boredom and hunger. I'm glad for all of this. I... Between us, I agree. Ha! We should get a drink together, Rook. Truthfully, I always thought you were a bit of an ass before. And listen, I'm not interested in a let. Or oddly, if I promise you that. That's good of you, Mogan. You depart unsure whether you should be drinking with Mogan or not. But I do. Because he's a cool guy. And let's talk to old man. Krumer, can you spare a moment? Mostly no, but I'll try. I never had a moment to thank you for your hospitality. Consider it done, then. Uh, I'm really not interested in any of this. Who is Ungver? Ha! I'm not surprised he never told you. I'm just surprised he can stand being around you anymore, anyone at all. Your friend was one of us long ago. I mean, the dredge-bashing type he was called Ungver then. And if you want to know why he changed his name, best ask him yourself. It's probably because I can't pronounce the crap out of it. I'm too old to peddle in gossip. How did you get all these Varl to follow you? 
Respect, young one, Padawan. After the Second Great War wasn't much for left ugh, me left to do, so I started training other Vol to fight. Speaking of which, have you ever realized how hard it'd be for a dyslexic person to say selective dyslexia? I did pretty good there. Not that I have a very severe case of dyslexia, or probably any case, or any instance. What the fuck am I saying? Got tired of that, made a place in Wormtoe. They still come calling, even with no wars to speak of. Seems like that might be changing, though, don't it? Any wisdom on fighting Dredge? Depends how much you know. They're all armor. Tap them hard enough, though, and it'll shatter. Line up a whole row of slag, and they'll explode on each other all the way down. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, making up stories. You get into big brawl, half your time is spent setting them up for it. And if you see one bang his axe like a tuning fork, oh, we know what that is. Try to kill him quick. Sometimes the slag he's calling won't even show up. I best leave you to your business. Take care, friend of Ungvr. And market? No, don't need the market. Still have plenty of supplies. I do want to level up some people. As usual, I closed the game when I thought it saved, so I had to redo the fight I did previously in the last video. I think I did a lot better on my own. I think a, a cool tactic is to bunch everyone together, so that way everyone's nearby, and if I get surrounded, I can just whoop ass. Let's see, got some promotions to hand out. You. Yes. Uh, I don't really use his abilities. I would like him to do more damage. Shield break, actually, it's, yeah. As usual. If you've been watching all of my these banner saga videos you know that's pretty much where i spend most of my points this dude this dude does some serious damage that's a lot of points i should have reconsidered he doesn't even have that many points to uh to spend okay uh what's yes she, i think i can promote her twice i don't think i can afford it no i cannot but she's starting to do some pretty good damage so i'm enjoying using her i don't really use a uh, What's it called? She has that thread the needle. It attacks in a line, direct line. Pretty useful. Don't get to use it that often because of the setup I usually have. But I, I do want her moving a lot. Because she dies in two turns. Anyone? Anybody else? Nope. Hey, a friend joins the crew. Maybe I'll use him. Maybe I won't. My choice. Map, market, heroes. Good, I'm done. Leave. So I've consulted some of my fellow Let's Players, and it seems this game is far longer than I predicted. Uh, what, what part is this? 16? I think I'll have to do double the number of videos. I'll probably be at 30 before I'm done. But... Grofheim's quite a few days out, says Krumer, but nothing's worse than crossing the wastes, I imagine. If there's any anywhere you might be safe from dredge, it's there. You steer yourself for another long march, and half the town of Wormtoe joins you. Yeah, I'm just absorbing towns as I march through the snow. Apparently this game has multiple endings as well? But I cannot imagine playing this game again. I mean, I enjoy the combat. It reminds me of my... Young days as a young lad playing Game Boy Advance, Fire Emblem, and all that, and tactics. A well-tended farm with plenty of livestock draws the caravan's attention. Upon your arrival, the farmer and his workers stand defensively with plain sight, crude weapons at the ready. Their crossed arms make their thoughts clear without a word. Interesting. I could bring them with me, or offer a trade. Let's see if I can get them to come with us. Probably not. You warn the farmer of the approaching dredge, but the man spits and says, This land is my life, I lose that, may as well be dead. The farm hands slowly nods their agreement, neither joining you or lowering their weapons. Let's leave him alone. I don't want to be a dick. What's his is his, you say to the caravan. No sense fighting those trying to protect themselves. Grumbling bounces around through the clansmen, but the caravan is once again moving. How dare they grumble at me? I'm the... What am I? A prince? King? Random guy with the daughter? I have no... I, I'm having a hard time keeping up with the story. Speaking of Fire Emblem, when I brought that up, I really want to play that on the 3DS. Whatever the hell it's called. I can't remember what the name of the new one is. 13. It's the 13th one, right? 13th installment of the Fire Emblem franchise. While walking, the words of a mother's song reach you. It's soothing, nuanced, and about your current journey. When she finishes, a man begins a tale of his own in verse. The woman quickly responds with another poem, and the entire caravan slows to listen to the entertaining competition. Let's cheer and join. 
The man's response is an upbeat poem which questions the mother's cooking. The caravan explodes with laughter and the contestants, I said contestants, contestants continue amiably for another hour or so. You hear snippets of the poems along the trail the rest of the day. The words changing slightly each time. Remix. I'm gonna drink some of my soda here. Mm. Mm -mm. Ah, okay, hold on. Give me a sec. Oh, okay. You haven't seen Alette for much of the day. When you do find her, she's returning to camp alone from a fair distance away, looking rather sullen. She keeps her eyes on the ground as you approach. Let's ask her what's going on. I feel like things are changing so quickly, she eventually confides. It's not just that. Everything is going so wrong. I've been talking to Echol a lot. This gets your attention. Who? Oh, Echol's a d <gasps> What has he been telling you? He told me how he and Onif are kin. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. I remember Onif. He's cool. Onif is, is tight. Echol had a sister who married Onif, but she died a long time ago. They've been bound since, but then Onif left without him. Just left him behind without a word. That's why he came after us. Don't trust that man. I am, says Alette. I'm not stupid, you know. I don't go alone. I always bring Onif with me. She stalks back off, off back to camp. At least with Oddlift there, you feel a little better about things. Good. I like Oddlift. I don't really use her in a fight, though, because archers are a pain in the ass to level in the beginning because they are so squishy. Here, 23 days of supply left for my journey. There's a Christmas tree and another monument. I think that helps break up the boredom in between when there's nothing going on and I don't have anything to talk about. Maybe I should just start singing what I see. There's a red banner which fits because the game's called Banner Saga. That was terrible. The godstone of Merrick looms into view. Upon it carved a great ocean beast. Jack stones jut out of the snow like shark fins. It's hard to imagine the Nordfelling wastes being filled with water at one time, but the godstone stands as a reminder of the vast lake it used to look across. A blessing, shouts one of the men in your caravan, holding up what looks like a silver coin. It's a fish scale, he says, pointing out the rainbow pattern that shows in the sunlight. Soon, a curious child has found another hiding in the snow, and a third is discovered. Whoa, crazy, f crazy. Perhaps they'll bring us luck, you over here, and before long, the caravan has become obsessed with gathering the shining scales. This is interesting. Let's cut them off after a reasonable amount of time. This is some shady sh sh shite going on. When you wake to... When I wake? When you awake to find people still searching through snow and shrubs, you call it off. We can't spend another day here, you tell them. Be glad for the luck you found and let's go before it runs out. They fret and moan, but eventually you get them back on the trail. What are they, fish? Fish to a bobble? I don't trust it. I don't trust these scales. What if dredge starts showing up and we're picking up scales? We look like stupid idiots. We're continuing our journey. Snow and nothing but snow! Snow! Nothing but... Oddlift calls you over, grinning. A row of women holding bows of different age and experience line up before a row of trees in the distance. Ah. They fire, doing an impressive job of hitting the trunks. I think they're ready to fill some dredge with feathers. One woman still hasn't shot her arrow. She stands perfectly still. The others watch. Just as the wind shifts, she lets go, and her arrow flies not into one of the trees, but a snow rabbit that had scurried out from underneath. Dinner, she says, smiling. Ooh. A group of men from a caravan approach. Listen here, says one. Practice all you want. My wife isn't fighting dredge. The other men agree in chorus. We don't want to see the battlefield full of dead wives and daughters. Let's see. Hmm. I'll stand by the women becoming fighters. The men argue their point but eventually relent. Thanks, says Oddleaf. To be honest, it was harder than I expected, but the more people who can hold their own, the better. The woman returned to camp not just as clansmen, but as fighters. I lost 35 clansmen. How did that happen? I won't question it. Some clansmen have discovered a large patch of wild fruit. When you approach, you see some people have begun to sample them. A mother frets about whether they're safe after overhearing one of the children say that it tastes funny. Others start gathering by the basketful. Hmm. Let's offer a piece to one of the animals in the caravan. Lacking a poison taster, you hold out the fruit to a goat. The beast sniffs it before eating the entire fruit. Only the pit falls to the ground as the goat licks its mouth and leans forward toward your hand, wanting more. Well, 
If he ate it, it's probably okay. Of course, it'd be better to wait, but that's not an option. So let's gather as much as we can. Many clansmen follow your lead while others continue eating and collecting. Later that day, a few fruit-stained peasants stumble around with drunken grins. Apparently, the fruit was fermented, not poisonous. Haha, <laughs> nice! The kid got drunk! Ho ho ho! Happy days! Ah, oh, As lovely as this terrain is. God, I want to play that new Fire Emblem. Damn it. You hear a whistle on the wind and a spot a line spot a long line of varl far up ahead heading toward you. Behind them is a swarm of dredge and a trail of bodies leading off into the distance. Get down there, barks Crummer. It's combat time. It's combat. It Don't let them spread out, shouts the lead varl as you approach the battleground. Soon you almost forget finding yourself fighting alongside them, facing off against a daunting number of dredge. Dredge lined the battlefield, weapons drawn, a fight seems inevitable. Mm hmm. Charge. Rush into battle. I don't even care. Just do it. Let's see. Okay, is there someone I don't prefer having in fights? I have to have... Oh, I like this setup I have, so maybe I should just keep, keep this going. I like it. Let's see, Hogan? Yeah, I'll keep Hogan. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's business. It's business time. Okay. Interesting. I don't like this at all. This is the setup I would have wanted to be in. This is going to be tricky. I don't think I'll be able to finish this fight in time. Okay, let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay. Perhaps an assault from the side. Yes, that's... See, if I have them spread out like this, then they'll go here, they'll go here, and it's all split. What I want to do is create a bottleneck for them. So that way, these guys are just... Oh, we can't get to the fight. And then I'll win. Just like that. Okay, put you here. Move you, Hogan, here. I want him in the center so I can do Mark Prey. Keep her in the back. This... This could be good. Hold on a minute. Move you here. Oh, shoot. God, you're so fat. Okay. I, I think I like this. Hold on. Wait. Oh, this guy. This guy's gonna be... Hmm. Uh... I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see, what do I want to do? Yeah, let's move you here. Gonna smash you, biatch. Oh, retaliating. Ha! Poor guy. Let's see, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's move you here. Get rid of this huge guy first. Oh no! Leave him alone! Shoot. I guess I might as well go for him. I don't I really don't want to spread my guys thin like this. Oh no, it's not charge. As much as I want to. Oh look at that! Eight damage. Awesome. Bye bye. Shoot. Okay. Let's move you. Ah, uh, see, he's going to be useless then for the next round, because he can't get in, because he's so huge. I'm going to move... I guess I could do a regular attack if I wanted, but I really want to get rid of this big guy. Here we go. Nice, that was pretty good. Uh, shoot, let's see. How good's your range? Your range is awesome, apparently. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, well, he's dead next one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, damn it! One hit? That sucks. Unbelievably. Because she does. She does. She's really helpful. She does a lot of damage. I really didn't expect that. 
Oh, awesome. He can still hit someone. Hmm, I don't like this arrangement. We're all surrounded. Let's see, I can impale. I think I'm just gonna do a regular attack. Let's finish off this asshole. Awesome. You know what? It's been over 20 minutes, so I'm going to end the video here. So stay tuned for the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye! Fun fact, Adam is actually harvested from sea slugs. And they're put into the uh, little sister's stomachs. And it generates far more Adam than it would normally by on its own. Which is pretty disgusting. Oh, I kind of want to listen. Why are you running? Is that- is it because I'm running? It's because I'm running, isn't it? Shoot. I didn't realize. Art. Science. To industry! Fun.